All right, so for today's video, we are taking a look at another insulated tool from Milwaukee. Now, this is their Precision 1,000-volt rated insulated screwdriver. Now, this is a eight-piece set, and it's going to be somewhat similar to the other eight-piece insulated tool set that I reviewed previously on the channel, um, with the exception of this is more of the Precision-style bits. Now, the model number for this guy is almost similar to the last tool. It is 4422. 2217 so you like the um other one we looked at here on the channel you do get this nice little carrying case for that if you'd like to store your um insulated tools or your tools in a case um and it is labeled it's going to be labeled the same as the other one um and you also have the milwaukee logo and then it's held together by velcro and you open that guy up and you have your eight piece set right there so we'll go ahead and take the handle out and all of the bits and you do the, I will say these bit holders are a little bit nice, but for me personally, they do take up a lot of room if you have them in a tool bag. Um, so oftentimes when I have these multi bits and at least in my tool bag, I don't really use these bags um, too much. Um, Cause like I said, they just are a little bit bulky in your bag and just take up way too much space and you can't fit as much stuff in there. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. And we'll take a look at the handle. Now it's going to be kind of similar to the other one where it's kind of that hard plastic with some rubber over molding. And I believe, like I said in the last video, you have a ball bearing right there that locks the bits into the tool. And then you do have the Milwaukee logo. And then you have some safety ratings, um, 1000 volt UL listed, and your model number, and another Milwaukee logo that isn't painted. And oddly enough, this guy is a little bit older than the last tool I reviewed. This guy was made in November of 23. And then you have your safety ratings. I think I already mentioned those. Um, and then, you know, you got wearing the safety glasses. Now, this is rocking the um, yellow, kind of the yellow and red uh, scheme with some black thrown in there. And they did label the top of the handle. So if you did have this sitting in your tool bag, you could easily identify it. Now, another nice thing about this is the handle, or at least the top of it, spins. So if you had it in your hand, you could spin it. Um, and not have to, you know, turn the whole screwdriver. You can just sit there and move your two fingers and you can tighten up and loosen whatever you're tightening. And then there is the business end of the tool. Again, it has that kind of like that quarter inch hex design that you would see on a bit that locks into your impact driver. And there is a ball bearing, like I said, in there that locks the bits in. Now this little kit, you get uh, your two small Phillips. So this is your Phillips zero and double zero. And the nice thing about these bits is they are nicely labeled. Um, and they also have the year that they were produced. So this entire set, I think everything in this set was produced in November of 23. So there is your Phillips bits. And then you do get a couple slotted bits. You get the quarter or the eighth inch and the 330 seconds if you uh, need those. So we'll go ahead and put those off to the side. And then the last remaining of your bits are all of your different Torx bits. So I think the largest Torx bits you're going to get in this kit is going to be your T15. Uh, and then the smallest is going to be your T7. So there they are. And a nice thing about this kit is there are also kind of like, I, I guess you'd call them the security Torx uh, on there. So they have that little imprint in there for the security torch so that you can take those guys in and out. Um, but that's pretty much going to be it for this little set. Now, the functionality is going to be pretty much the same as its bigger brother. The bits just slot into the tool and they lock in. Uh, and it does take a little bit of effort to pull them out, so it's not going to pop out very easily. Um, but like I said in the other review, if you didn't watch it, that ball bearing that is in the tool that kind of locks into the um, this handle or this the bit i should say does leave a groove into the tool so if you're changing these bits out a lot or you're using the tool a lot and you know swapping bits in and out or whatever that's going to be something that you are going to want to pay attention to um, and make sure it doesn't rub out and expose um, get down to the insulation and kind of expose bare metal because that's the last thing you want is you and you're you know working on something live or something that's are working around something that is live um, for this little for one of these blades to touch that and you feel the shock in your hand um, so that's the only kind of the only downside so far that I've seen about this kit is um, that ball bearing just kind of grooves into the insulation on here now I did also forget to mention that these are a part I guess you call them the slimline bits they are as you get closer to the um, 
the bit head, the blade does slim down. So if you had to get into, you know, a tight space breaker, a little Molex plug or whatever, these bits are, are slimmed down so that it is easier to get into those places uh, like that. Now, again, I did pick this guy up at my local Home Depot. Um, and I believe the kit ran about 30, I think it was 30, 35 dollars uh, when it was all said and done with tax. Uh, and I think they also sell a lower bit kit as well. I think it only comes, I think the, the one has four pieces in it. And I think it only comes with the Phillips and the slotted, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and like I said in the previous um, insulated screwdriver review I did about the, um, that bigger 8-in-1, I'm not sure if Milwaukee sells these extra bits or not. So if you lose one, break one, or the insulation gets damaged, I'm not 100% sure if they sell replacement bits or if they sell them in sets or whatever. I haven't been able to find any information about that. Um, so I will leave, like I do in almost all my videos, I will leave a link that will take you on over to Milwaukee's website if you want to find some more information out about this tool. And then if you can't find it in your Home Depot or you just want to have buy the tool online and have it delivered to your house, I will also leave a few links in the description that will take you to some online retailers that have this guy in stock if you are looking to add this to your tool lineup so you can order it and have it shipped right to you. Um, but with that being said, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching.